All right, so we're up to some new good here. And uh, what I'm thinking of doing, we have this old Manco Dingo golf cart, golf cart, go-kart here. And uh, well, it has an eight horsepower engine and it has a live axle, meaning that both of these tires turn at exactly the same time. Needless to say, this is a very fast, fun little go-kart. I mean, you can drift this thing. It has a uh, centrifugal clutch and it has a snowmobile type clutch set up here constant variable transmission it works so well just like a snowmobile it basically shifts and changes the pitch as you're going so you get torque and power and speed all out of this engine however the cool part is we have another go-kart now this thing it's a little old it needs some love it's very heavy duty it has two layers of steel on here and this is a carter cart you can see there that's what we're looking at here so this is a very good high quality cart, very solid. However, this has a differential in it as opposed to a live axle. Now you can see the other one, like I said, both wheels will turn at exactly the same time. This one, if we spin this one backwards, that side's spinning forward. Now what this will do is this won't tear up your grass as much when you're driving and it'll apply more power to one wheel than the other. Mainly the wheel that's slipping is going to get the power as opposed to basically the other one has a locker in it. It won't turn as well, it will tear up your grass. However, if you floor it with a locker, it's gonna slide the back end out, which is a lot of fun. So, this old Carter cart only has a five horsepower engine on here, this little Briggs and & Stratton, and it's on its last leg. I mean, you can see there's water inside there, it's done. This poor engine, I didn't even care about it anymore. Basically, the cart is what it is. So, if we take that cart, and we take this little Briggs and Stratton 8 horsepower engine that I got from a guy when I bought a rental property it came with it and he was going to make a log splitter out of it and you can see it's got the pump hook to it and the actuator for the splitter and the ram but the reality is I'm never going to get around to doing that so maybe I'll just take this engine and we'll make two 8 horsepower go-karts and then well all right, well, I'm get, moving along, get the engine just to, or I have the engine just about ready to take out of here. And one thing that I noticed is this engine is mounted on a little rubber flap here. And what a nice little feature that is. There's another one down under here, you can't really see it. But that's giving the engine some anti-vibration, so you don't have to feel all this while you're riding around in your go-kart. Now, I haven't seen that on many go-karts before, and that is a definitely a nice little feature to have, especially for something like this. So. She should be all ready to take out of here. Ugh, there's still a wire or two hooked up, I guess. Must be, uh, well, maybe not. It's on that bolt. Let's see. That's out. Ta-da! All right, well, that was a piece of cake. And now I just got to clean all this up and drop in a new one. But yeah, now you can see this plate a little better. Like I said, the engine mount's here, and this can vibrate separate from the rest of it. Pretty awesome. All right, well, this is the engine we're gonna uh, be putting in our go-kart. Now this is an eight horsepower Briggs & Stratton. Nice, solid engine. A whole heck of a lot more powerful than this five horsepower. Believe it or not, you can really, you can actually get these things to drift with this much power. And boy, is that a whole lot of fun in a go-kart. Only thing is, uh, somebody was trying to make a log splitter out of this. And they, boy, they made a fancy coupler and attachment and all that for this. It's kind of a shame to pull this apart. But I'm um, not going to be using it to make a log splitter anytime soon, and I already have one that's pretty junky and crappy, so we'll use this engine to have some fun instead. And basically, we just have to pull this apart and swap it out. One thing we did notice is this engine is a three-quarter inch shaft, and this is a one-inch shaft. So we're going to need to get a new clutch, which is probably okay, because this clutch has definitely seen better days anyway. I was looking at it in here. And I can see some broken parts, and uh, it's pretty well worn to begin with. So, so be it. We need to buy a new clutch. And other than that, it shouldn't be too much uh, effort to put this into our go-kart. Wow, what a difference that just made. A little simple green cleaned uh, almost all the crud off here. You can see there's a little bit left in there, but everything was caked with it before. So uh, much, much, much better, and I'm glad we did that. I'll get another squirt in there. Let that sit and it'll eat up uh, some of that stuff, be able to get rid of it.
And I mean, you really want to get rid of all that grime before you put a nice engine back in here and we can paint things up and make it look a lot better. Also, what I did is I took the engine bolts, put them in this can, you can see all the grease is already coming off and with a little bit of that stuff on me. And I'll just pretty much rinse it. Why work with all greasy, grimy stuff? All right, well, we just got an interesting little package here. Open this sucker up. Oh, here we go. One nice new clutch. Bolt that sucker right on there. Oh, that's gonna be awesome. Oh, I can't wait to put this on and see what a difference this is gonna make. Get this thing up and running again. We'll take it. There's a 40 series. It has the one inch shaft. Awesome centrifugal clutch. And as this revs up, this moves in and pushes the belt further up on this to give you different gearing. You have nice low end torque and high end horsepower to really take advantage of your engine. Get the most out of it. This thing's gonna rip with this thing. That's awesome. Now we just gotta put it in. Well, 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 here we have it. All installed, all ready to go. Our new clutch is on. Basically all we had to really do here was put a spacer in there to fit this on so it didn't rub against the case. And somebody had stripped out our crankshaft, so we had to re-tap and drill and tap the crankshaft. Not the easiest thing to do, but we got it because as long as you have taps, it's not a problem. Hooked up the throttle cable, bolted this engine in. Uh, one of the tricks we used for the bolts, because if you look, you can see we didn't, we weren't able to use these old holes. We had to drill new holes. So what you do is you take a little bit of paint and you put it on the bottom of the bolt right where you need it and drop it right in on each one and it marked the centers for you. So that's a little trick on that. Other than that, she's ready to fire up. So uh, let's see here. Let's give it some gas. Turn that on for a minute. That's awesome. Let's see. We need choke. Maybe. I don't know. Let's see. Give it a little bit of. I'll set that here while I set it. Oh! That was quick. alive! Hey. Kind of idling too! Oh, this is going to be cool. You can see real quick how that clutch works. Now, you really want to make sure nobody with long hair rides this until we get a cover because you can suck your hair right in there and scalp you. Oh, good God, that's the last thing you'd ever want to do is be scalped by one of these. Oh, I guess I got to turn it up a little bit on the idle. Moving. Gotta put some air in this tire. All right, let me go do that. All right, well, I think we got the bugs worked out of it now. Let's hope. Let's give it a shot and see what happens here. All right. Here we go. They're so much fun.
that's fun. Yep, that's why you want to get one of these things. there you have it just like that power slide it right into the stop I don't really want to run it much until I get an air filter on there I just want to take it for a spin and uh, overall pretty cool to see at least the projects coming together here and something's getting done you like said moving up from the little Briggs and Stratton to an eight horse five to eight much difference much much better and I like running these old golf cart tires very little traction, you slide all over the place. It's kind of scary the way that whips, that's fun. A lot of fun. I mean, we picked this thing up years ago for hardly any money. And well, rode it around a little bit with that five horse motor, but it just never really ran right. So when we had the chance, figured let's swap it out and do this. Really cool. But check out our other videos. We have some really cool stuff going on on our channel. All kinds of really engine related stuff, three wheelers, four wheelers, go-karts. Rototillers, backhoes, tractors, you name it. We got it all on Jeeps. Really cool Jeeps. But uh, that's Mr. Brian's Amazing World. You have a wonderful day.